Welcome to Greg Hill's TV Daily. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. We now have a dummy version, but this time in aluminum, or as English people say, aluminium, which I always say as a joke to my wife or other people, I'll just say aluminium. It's really much more fun to say than the American way of saying aluminum. But this is some interesting dev de device uh, reveal designs on here. Let's take a closer look at this because this really points out what you got going on here. And when you look at the front one of the display, you see the camera cut out. You also see the very ultra thin bezel that goes around the phone, which you can, again, you can see the cutout for it. So that's why it's really nice to see that. The back of the phone, you see the cameras with all the sensors and things like that. You also see that it's going to have MagSafe charging, which it has had for a while, I and mean, you might not know that, but it does, and you can use those MagSafe chargings uh, that the iPhones use as well, which is always cool, because it's a magnet built into the back of the phone that allows you to take advantage of that feature. On the sides, you've got the buttons on there for the power and the volume, and they kept those buttons in the right place. I hate the way Pixel has it where the power button's on the top and the volume buttons are at the bottom. I like it with the power button at the bottom and the volume buttons at the top. I think they did a great job uh, with that, but ultimately not a ton of stuff to see on here, but it does show you again what you're expecting to see with this phone. Um, Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, you're gonna have up to 16 gigs of RAM, up to one terabyte of storage, 200 megapixel main camera. And I like seeing this because when you do see these designs, it gives you an opportunity to be like, is this that all that different? Is it's not? And obviously you can tell it's really not that different. The other thing I wanted to point out was we've been talking about this having uh, rounded corners and this obviously the design on this shows that you have the rounded corners rather than the squared off edges like we've had in the recent past with this ultra phone. So what do you think about the design? Do you think it's a, a step back, a step forward, a step of the same? Let me know your thoughts. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.